Hello guys! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install and set up OBS Studio. So the first thing you want to do is to open your browser and type in obsproject.com which is going to open this page. So we are going to install OBS Studio it's a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. Well, since we are not going to stream anything, when you download, when you install this software, you need to set it to video recording. Uh, during the installation, there will be such an option. You can choose whether or not you want to have it installed for live streaming or video recording. So please choose video recording and then as you can see it works on uh, every platform and every machine that you use in my case i have a windows computer so i am going to show you what it looks like on a windows computer so if you want to install it on your windows computer you click on windows and go through the whole installation process well i already have it installed on my machine so I am going to show you what it looks like. Yeah, this is the, uh, the icon for OBS Studio. And if we open it, it looks kind of weird, but please don't be discouraged by it. It's actually quite easy to use. So um, we are going to work with these two windows. One is called Scenes, and we don't really need that. Um, but we do need uh, this window called sources because this is where we're going to set our uh, devices. And the first thing you want to do is to add your display. So you click on the plus button and then you choose uh, display capture. There it is. Don't change anything here. Everything looks fine. Just click on OK. I'm not going to click on OK because I already have it, but because I've already added it. And you will have display capture here, right? Um, here's a little hint. By default, your capture method is set to automatic. But if you have a high performance machine, like in my case, then uh, it's not going to work. The screen will be black, it will be blank, and it will not record your uh, display, your screen. So if you have a high performance, performance machine, set it to Windows 10, 1903 and up, and then it's going to be fine. So just remember, if you have a weird screen, the screen that looks like mine, it's all good. It means you've set it correctly. But if you have here a black screen, then you need to change um, the settings here. Yeah, so here. Then you need to change the capture method to Windows 10 and it's going to work just fine. So this is the first thing you want to do. Next, you need to add your webcam. So again, you click on the plus button and you choose um, video capture device. Again, you don't choose, uh, you don't change anything here. Let it be as is and click OK, right? and uh, you will see that you have added your video capture device. You can click on settings and you can choose your device. You can play with the settings, but I usually go by default because everything works just fine. All right, and if you do not have an external mic, an external microphone, you're good to go. But just in case, if you have an external external microphone, microphone, you might want to add an audio input device. So again, you click on the plus button and you choose an audio input capture. 
and here you choose your um, an, uh, uh, external microphone. So in my case, um, there it is. I have a blue snowball and uh, I want uh, I want I want to use it I want to use this microphone not the uh, pre-installed Windows microphone but again uh, if you don't have it if you don't have an external microphone you're fine you're okay with these two sources and you're pretty much set but I want to show you a couple of tricks helpful tricks if you click here on settings uh, go to output and here uh, see the recording format by default it is set to I think FLV format but you don't want that you want to set it to mp4 um, it's 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 just much better because it um, most devices recognize mp4 format and here the recording path you can also choose where you want your video stored and number two hint is hotkeys this is really really useful uh i i i really really uh suggest that you set your hotkeys for start recording and stop recording in my case i set it to one and two it's just so so helpful i mean you can uh just you know hit the uh, like uh, whatever key combination you want and have it recorded instantly all right and let me show you how it works in like on my screen yeah so let me open pretty much any ppt let's see um oh well, here we go so let's say you open this ppt and there we go you can teach your lesson you know you can go through your ppt you can explain what is happening on the screen um and it just works so i hope that you found this tutorial useful and if you have any questions please you know message me and i'll be more than happy to help you all right thank you bye